Hi Capricorn, I hope you guys are doing well. This is your general love reading for November. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. If this is your reading, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when these readings are uploaded for you. Um, I am available for personal love readings as well. I do them video recorded. I also offer them by Etsy message for a quick turnaround. They're much more affordable as well. All the information is in the description box. Your bonus extended reading. What is this person not revealing? Whoever you're thinking and dealing with, it is up on Vimeo if you want to check that out. All right, let's jump right into your reading Capricorn. Capricorn in love. Clear messages for my Capricorns out there, please. All right, so Capricorn, the challenge that you're facing right now in love is the Knight of Cups, okay? So a lot of you guys just tell me you may want to offer love to someone. Maybe there's someone that is pursuing you, okay? I feel like there's definitely um, energy of some of you guys, if you're dating someone, there's the energy of someone wanting to offer you love, wanting to express their feelings for you. Um, the Knight of Cups in some cases can also be an apology, okay? It's kind of like a page of cups with a little bit more, um, you know, action, right? So... Let's see what else we can find out here. Capricorn in love. What is the current energy here? The full card. So we have a new opportunity maybe presenting, okay, itself for you, Capricorn, a new opportunity in love. Um, it's telling me that you may have to take that risk, put yourself out there, three of swords in reverse. So a lot of you guys... um you've been in this place of hurt there's something that you're healing from heartbreak maybe there's a lot of emotional pain um of a situation that did not go as planned okay there could be someone that hurt you in the past that you're still actively healing from you're letting go you're recovering the empress also came out in the verse okay so it's telling me that there is an opportunity being presented some of you guys you have a new person coming in it could be an aries okay got libra energy as well there could be someone um coming in or a new opportunity being presented itself or it could be someone from the past okay um it looks like with the Empress in reverse, it's telling me that a lot of you guys, there could be some insecurities, okay? Some of you guys, you may be uh, unsure, okay, if this is something you want to invest in, right? Um, because with the Empress in reverse, it's indicating that something here may not be as fulfilling or, you know, you're questioning if this could be something that could really... Um, turn into something beautiful or, or loving and you know I'm getting there's someone here that may have not treated you right or maybe you felt that they didn't put you first they didn't make you priority with this empress energy let's find out and that's why the challenge is the knight of cups should you give love to this person should you offer love or should you accept their love offer right in the past we have the four cups here. Yeah, in the past, there was some kind of rejection or missed opportunity here with someone here um, we have the eight of cups and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So yeah, it's very clear that in the past, something here didn't work. There was a missed opportunity. There was something very promising, maybe a commitment that you expected from someone. Maybe you were planning on moving forward in a higher level commitment. It's telling me that something didn't happen. Someone here walked away. Okay, someone walked away and there was a missed opportunity of, of rejection. Okay, so either um, Capricorn, you may have walked away because you felt rejected by this person. You weren't getting enough um, love, loyalty, attention. Some of you guys, they walked away from you and you felt rejected. Okay, but what it's telling me is that something didn't work out. Something didn't happen. Something didn't come together with this Ace of Pentacles. So on your mind, Capricorn, in your energy... Oh, the tower, Scorpio energy here. What else can we find out? The devil and the seven of cups in reverse. Wow. So Capricorn, there's some heavy energy here, okay? I, I do feel that a lot of you guys are going through a big transformation um, right now in your life. There's a lot of changes, a lot of um, unsettling energy, okay? It's very uncomfortable perhaps as well with the tower. It's something that something here could have happened very abruptly, like the rug just got ripped up from under you. Um, I see with the devil card, it could be, that's your energy, Capricorn. It doesn't have to be anything toxic, but it could definitely be some kind of self-limiting thoughts, beliefs. It could be someone that you're holding on to, okay? It could be like a codependence or it's like you're chained to someone here. There's something that you're becoming more clear on. I feel a lot of you guys, it's telling me that there could have been a lot of confusion about someone in your life, maybe their feelings for you. And it's something that you're finally getting more clear on with this tower moment. I feel like whatever this tower is, it's bringing forth some clarity, okay? That maybe you didn't see before. Let's see what's in the foundation here. In the foundation, we have the lovers. Wow. We have the six of cups. 
We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. And why this is happening is the Three of Wands in reverse. So I feel like someone here um, definitely left you thinking that, oh, they can move on without you. And they're realizing that they can't, okay? Because the Three of Wands in reverse, they realized that their ships were not coming in. They realized that there was a lack of change in their life. They realized that something here wasn't working out for them. It was like they thought that they would be happy without you or there'll be other opportunities presented to them and there wasn't. So I feel like whoever this person is, Capricorn, I feel like this is someone who thinks very fondly of you. There's a lot of memories of the past, the experiences. I feel like someone cannot stop thinking about you with the Six of Cups, okay? Um, I feel like this is someone that you think... Um, very good feelings as well. I mean, I'm getting that you guys have a lot of history here. This could be a soulmate, okay? Someone that you grew up with, someone that you have, um, again, long, long standing history with. You've known for a really long time. And so there is that Six of Cups, there's a fond memories, experiences, um, good feelings that you have with this person. Um, I do see this person is wanting a reconciliation. That could be why the Knight of Cups is here as a challenge. The Six of Cups could be indicating they want a reconciliation and they want you to make a decision about them, the lovers, okay? There's a decision regarding this union that they want with you. I feel like this is someone who, um, the reason why this is happening is because it's telling me that they may have invested in the connection and I think that there was great potential, but then they stopped, right? It's telling me that they stopped contributing to this. They, shot, they stopped showing up. They stopped um, reaching out to you and it's telling me that things have not worked out for them since then okay and i'm seeing that someone is now feeling like i want to continue to invest in something here because i believe in it okay there's something about this person still um having memories of you and wanting to now change the way they invest in this connection now the outcome is the page of wands in reverse, the nine of wands and the queen of pentacles in reverse so capricorn i really feel like it comes down to you right do you want to move in a new direction with this person is this something that you still want to fight for do you believe in it the nine of wands right because i do feel there's someone who may want to communicate there's someone who may want to reach out it could be a leo a sag and aries but i feel like with the queen of pentacles in reverse a lot of you guys you may not expect this okay but it's telling me that you may question if this is something worth investing in right um can i trust this person are they reliable right so let's see what else we can find out Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn. If this is your reading, like, share, comment, subscribe, your extended bonus. What is this person not revealing? Capricorn is up on Vimeo. The link is in the description box. All right, so let me clarify this Three of Swords. There's some hurt, right? This emotional pain that could have been a betrayal that you've experienced with this person. Why is the Three of Swords here? The Chariot, the World, and the Three of Wands in verse. So, Whatever happened, Capricorn, it's telling me this happened for a reason. It could have been a lot of lessons here someone had to experience. It's telling me that something here regarding divine timing. I feel a lot of you guys, um, Capricorn, you've been challenged to walk away, maybe move on from this connection with the chariot to be victorious elsewhere because something here wasn't working, right? This person wasn't doing what they needed to do with regard to you. And I feel like you waited. You waited for this person to change. You waited for this person to um invest properly to take real action towards you and something never happened i feel a lot of you guys you may have decided to let this person go and do your own healing okay that's why the three of swords is coming on verse a lot of you guys are actively healing and you're recovering from a situation that may have not happened or worked out why is the fool you know why is the empress in verse let's get clarity on the empress Ooh, the devil okay the devil came out in the verse with the a judgment again that's you capricorn but i feel like again there's something here that I'm getting that your person wasn't ready to love you or nurture you, the connection the way that you wanted them to. The devil in the verse is that some of you guys, you had to release yourself from this person. You may have, um, you know, turned your back on the connection with the, uh, the devil in the verse, right? If that's your energy. Um, so some of you guys, it's telling me you may have walked away or released yourself from this person and that was a decision that you made. I feel like whoever made that decision, I feel like there is an energy of wanting to reassess this decision. Was this the best decision, okay? Because we have the full card, a new opportunity being presented. Why is the full card here? Someone is stressed about a new beginning, okay, that they want with you. I'm seeing the star. There's definitely an idea that you guys can heal this. Can we recover from this? I desire you. You're so special. You're near and dear to my heart. There's some optimism about a new beginning, but there's some stress associated with this new beginning, perhaps because someone doesn't trust the other person, okay? And there's some risk associated with this new beginning, okay? So it could be an Aries. It could be an Aquarius that you guys are dealing with, um, a Cancer as well. In a recent past, let me find out why um, the Ace of Pentacles came out in the verse, right? There was an opportunity and it like never um, came into fruition. What happened to the Ace of Pentacles? 
the justice in reverse and the five of wands. Now, some of you guys, I feel like they put you in competition with someone else, okay? It's telling me that um, it was almost like you had to fight for this person's attention. Something here wasn't balanced. It wasn't fair. It wasn't equal. I feel a lot of you guys, you were uh, in a situation where you felt this person wasn't treating you correctly or fairly, okay? And so um, I feel like something here didn't work, okay? I'm also seeing a divorce for some of you guys, a marriage that ended, okay? Definitely some, some arguing or, or some resistance. Why did someone walk away in the past? The Eight of Cups, someone here walked away, they weren't happy, the full universe and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, I'm seeing that a lot of you guys, Capricorn, that's your energy with the Knight of Pentacles. You are presenting with this person um, something very solid, right? You are moving forward um, with a very secure offer. You are presenting with this person uh, with stability, with security, right? You were thinking long term. However, you're dealing with someone with this full universe who was very reckless, <laughs> reckless, reckless, okay? And I feel like they were unwilling to move forward in this opportunity with you in the past, okay? But in the current energy, they want this new opportunity. But in the past, they didn't. They didn't want it. And so some of you guys walked away now, or this person walked away, okay? It just depends. Four cups, why? What's this four cups about? Yeah, the King of Pentacles came out in the verse and the Seven of Wands verse. A lot of you guys, you decided to block this person. You decided to no longer fight for this connection. The King of Pentacles in verse, you didn't see stability associated with this connection anymore. And so you stopped caring. And so there was a missed opportunity. But I also feel like this is someone who missed an opportunity, but now they miss you, right? So let me see what this tower is about in your energy, Capricorn. What is this tower about? There's some kind of big, big change. Something happened very abruptly. The tower is bringing forth, ooh, the eight of cups in verse, the moon in reverse. Wow. So Capricorn, I feel like this tower is definitely bringing a lot of change, this connection. In fact, it's also making someone realize something. There's some kind of big epiphany, okay? Um, it's also giving you clarity or maybe this person clarity. There's something here where there was some kind of confusion. And now it's like there's no more confusion after this tower moment. Because I'm seeing here with the Eight of Cups in verse, this is someone here, Capricorn, that may have walked away from you. Could have been a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's like they walked away from you and now they want to return after this tower moment. It's like nothing has gone their way since they walked away um, or you walked away and it's like now they're realizing something here we have the moon in reverse so some of you guys are something being revealed there's some kind of secret coming to light there's something that you were unaware of okay it could be a repressed emotions it could be the fact that this person still has these feelings for you they've never um opened up to share it with you okay so the tower is bringing forth something very sudden a breakthrough. Uh, I do feel like it's also bringing forth this. <laughs> it's also making this person come back to realize your worth and that they have feelings. Why is the devil card though here? The emperor and the ten of cups. Wow. Some of you guys, you feel. See, you're you're tied to this person just as much as they're tied to you. Believe it or not, the ten of cups is here with the emperor. I feel like this devil is speaking about this person. Um, feeling this incredible tie to you. In fact, it's like they don't want to lose you, right? And it's making this person, Capricorn, actually rise up, um, do better, take on this leadership role. The emperor is someone who makes good decisions. Um, they are trustworthy. They're reliable. They're respectable. And I see that this is someone who's actually growing up and wanting to be happy, wanting happiness in their life, where in the past they may have sabotaged things and they were left in this place of unhappiness right? So let me see what the Six of Cups is. I do see a reconciliation for some of you guys with a past lover. Why is the Six of Cups here? The Two of Wands and the Eight of Swords in verse. I feel like this is someone who's eventually going to get out of their head. There's a lot of stress, anxiety, worries about maybe reconciling with you. I feel like they're constantly being haunted by the past or these feelings that they have for you. A lot of good, fond memories, experiences that you guys have with each other. And it's almost like they have not been able to let him go. And it's like constantly reemerging in their mind and thinking of you, nostalgia, thinking of the past. And they're being called to now come towards you. The two wands. I feel like this is someone who's a little bit indecisive, okay? Or maybe you're indecisive about it. What's this lover's card with the two wands here? There's a decision that has to be made. Yeah. A lot of you guys are telling me that this person will certainly come to you with some kind of communication. The Ace of Swords is like a breakthrough. It's it's communication after a period of maybe silence. Um, I'm seeing that someone here that you stopped investing in, okay, is one of they're gonna want to come to you to communicate in order to make some kind of decision about you and them, okay? The the lovers is typically about some kind of union that wants to be had between you and them, okay? So I feel like this is someone who wants to communicate about not investing, or maybe they poorly invested, okay? 
why is the three of wands in reverse three of wands is clarified with that knight of cups okay knight of cups the nine of wands in reverse and the four of pentacles in reverse i feel like someone is putting aside um I'm getting someone is releasing something or putting aside their ego. There's something about, um, I'm ready to let this go, okay? Because this is hindering me. I'm letting, I'm letting this go. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Because we have some kind of offer. The Knight of Cups came out twice. So there is an offer of love coming out. Some of you guys, you're having to let go of something that happened in the past where you're very guarded toward this person in love. There's something that has to be let go. It could be a grudge. It could be uh, the hurt, the pain, the disappointment that you've experienced with this person that may be creating blockages. Because I feel like whoever this person is, there's the energy of, um, it's like you guys are tired. It's like you've been fed up with this person, but there's still some kind of offer that your challenge is to see what well, this is something you even want. Because I'm seeing an offer come in, but I'm also seeing, uh, I'm seeing, what's the seven of pentacles in verse? I'm seeing you guys are unsure. Yeah, the strength. There's an energy of resisting something here. Four of Cups feeling like that opportunity was missed, right? I, You know, it didn't happen. I've gotten over it. Um, with the strength card, I feel like a lot of you guys, you've, you've endured a lot with this person. It's almost like, I don't know if I have... I had the energy in me to move forward and revisit this situation again. So I do feel an offer coming in. Some of you guys, it also could be a new person coming in for you. The Knight of Cups could be a new offer of love. But maybe you're just still thinking about a missed opportunity, okay? Um, give me clarity on the Nine of Wands. So something that someone is still wanting to fight for. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Page of Swords, a Ten of Swords. Oops, let's get one more. And an Ace of Cups. Wow. So I feel like you guys are wanting to fight for real love. I feel like you don't want to just settle for anything. I feel like there's something about Page of Swords, you questioning something, you finding out as much information as you can. Um, being, you know, being that investigator, like really trying to decipher if this is someone who's really, really saying what they mean. You know what I mean? The Page of Swords, some of you guys, you may be question this person asking them more information trying to make sure that they're really legit um they really are genuine this time because you've experienced a really difficult ending with this ten of swords right there's a really difficult ending and while you want love you don't want to just jump into the next opportunity presented to you so i see love coming in for you guys capricorn again it could be a new lover it could be an old lover but the challenge for you guys is to really question something do the work find out as much information ask the right questions okay to avoid this a devastating ending again, right? An ending where um, it left you very heartbroken. Because I see you guys are still healing, okay? The Three of Swords came out in the verse here. So I see a love offer coming in, but again, Queen of Pentacles and versus your energy Capricorn, a lot of you guys, you have to make sure that um, this offer is secure, it's stable, because you don't want to be in this energy of, you know, um, doubting something and fearing something, you know, so that is what I'm seeing, let's get with the Knight of Cups, why is the challenge the Knight of Cups for Capricorn, Six of Wands in verse and Eight of Wands in verse, I feel the challenge is for you guys to really make sure that this love is real, because I see that there's still some communication issues, maybe there's someone who may want to come back in just to get your attention, um, and I'm seeing that you guys may have to Again, there's something about communication. Ask more questions. Um, really make sure that you both are invested in for the right reasons. Because again, if this is someone who's coming back into your life, especially if it's an old person, make sure that they're really here for the right reasons, right? Because Six of Wands could be them just wanting your attention, wanting to come in, wanting a more passionate connection, not really wanting long-term security. So I do see a love offer, but make sure this is someone who isn't gonna come in and out of your life, right? So that is what I'm seeing here. Um, Capricorn, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hopefully this gave you some clarity, okay? Much needed clarity. And um, your bonus extended reading is up on Vimeo. What is this person not revealing? Check it out if you guys are interested. All right, you guys, Capricorn, you have a great week. Happy November.